Imagine sitting down for lunch at school, only to see your face on the carton of milk sitting in front of you. As you pick up the carton, you realize it is a poster for a missing child, but you aren't missing, you're, you're right here. What does this mean? Is, is this just a mistake, or are your parents really not your parents? This is the story of 15-year-old Janie Johnson, who recognizes a younger version of herself, polka dot dress and all, on the side of a milk carton. As soon as she reads the heading, Missing Child, her life is instantly flipped upside down as she tries to grapple with the idea that her parents may not actually be her real parents. She teams up with her next-door neighbor, Reeve, and tries to figure out her true identity. Her parents love her and, and would never do anything to hurt her, but as Janie starts having flashbacks of other children and a woman who is not Mrs. Johnson... She starts to fear the worst. Are her parents really her kidnappers? This book reminds me of City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. City of Bones tells the story of a teenage girl named Clary who discovers that she is able to see supernatural creatures that no one else can. Throughout the process of this discovery, Clary has an identity crisis of sorts, trying to figure out who she really is and what this means for her future, just like Janie. Before reading this book, there are a couple things you may need to know. Today, it is rare to see missing children shown on milk cartons, but back in the 80s and 90s when this was written, many milk producers would help try to find missing children by placing their portraits on the side of the milk cartons in order to spread the word and get those photos out. In addition to the cartons, it is mentioned that a member of Janie's family may have left to be involved with a cult. A cult is a religious or social group that has beliefs and practices that are much different than societal beliefs. If you like this book, you should definitely check out the companion novels in the stories to find out what happens to Janie. There are four other books that continue her story. What Happened to Janie, The Voice on the Radio, What Janie Found, and Janie Face to Face. In addition to the companion novels, there is a film version of this novel starring Kelly Martin, which can be found in full on YouTube. I would also recommend checking out Goodreads. It's an awesome site that allows you to keep track of what you're reading, but also lets you see what others are reading and different recommendations based on the books that you like. It's a great tool to network with other readers and keep yourself up to date with all the exciting releases of your favorite authors.